Hey, Mr. Parker here to review one for Raro DVD. This is uh, Fernando Di Leo's Shoot First, Die Later. Always great titles on these uh, Italian crime films and always uh, really good plots of uh, corruption and uh, violence and things like that. And they always have some sort of ending that is a little different than you'd expect. But anyways, what we have here is a, a super cop. He's a lieutenant. He's uh, young and charming and handsome. Everyone seems to love him, uh, especially his father, who's a sergeant. It's kind of a weird uh, relationship because uh, he's a higher up than his dad, who's a sergeant. And his dad's not jealous. He's really proud of him. It says so. It's the exact thing they say on the back. He's really proud of him. But uh, he does not know that his son is involved uh, with a corrupt group of uh, Swiss people. He's basically helping them out with uh, drug smuggling and uh, gun smuggling, I should say, and stuff like that. And uh, a murder happens, and he tries to cover it up through a small little, uh, just a register complaint that would lead possibly to them. And uh, things get completely out of hand, and people die, and... Uh, it's kind of this tick-for-tat revenge type deal towards the end. But I must say the, the best part about the movie is the relationship between father and son and the interesting ways they act and bounce off each other. I really was like, I had heartfelt scenes when the father uh, finds out his son is a corrupt police officer. It's like heartbreaking. It, it really is something uh, that usually is the opposite way around, and I really liked how they tackled it here. And it was actually... Uh, very sad because I believe the father is the most likable character in the film. Uh, also, the car chases are really good in this. I'm not a huge chase fan, but when I do like car chases, they usually are from foreign films. They usually are from older foreign movies. Uh, this one in particular because it's uh, realistic. It doesn't look so silly or stupid. It's, it, it's grittier than something you'd see on uh, nowadays movies with uh, high, ridicu high ridiculously fake action type stuff. But anyways, like I said, uh, this is a crime movie, uh, and there's not much gore or anything, of course, like that. It is uh, violent, but it's not, it's not really about the violence. It's about the story of corruption and the web of uh, deceit between these people and how the story unfolds and... Uh, what happens? Uh, the ending I was actually very surprised by. There were scenes when I am a, a little uh, saddened in this, especially saddened, surprised. Uh, uh, the goons are uh, pretty uh, good. You know, these movies, you gotta have uh, dislikable bad guys. Uh, almost everybody's a bad guy, really, if you look at it uh, from an outside view. But when you're inside, you kind of uh, side with the, uh, definitely the father, but the son as well. Uh, but the goons are... Uh, unique. Uh, one is kind of like a transgendered person, which is kind of different, wear the half makeup and stuff like that, and it's really uh, creepy and de uh, evil and stuff like that, and that's a pretty good goon, and of course you got your typical bruiser type deal. There's uh, a couple of these, uh, I believe, I want to say Dominicans, and they're just literally kind of almost thrown in for a comic relief, but they uh, also are included in the plot. It comes with a really nice booklet, an interview with the director, but if you like uh, how it unfolds, it unfolds fairly nice. Uh, it don't expect some like insane rampage at the end where uh, Charles Bronson Death Wish esque. Even though you kind of want to see it, but you don't get to see it. Really nice booklet. These releases are very uh, gorgeous releases. Always remastered uh, from Raro. But uh, I think this is also coming out in a box set later on. Uh, he also, I think he wrote, he directed this one into the cinematography, which is always top notch. But I believe he also wrote uh, Live Like a Cop, Die Like a Man, which I, I uh, from Marrow as well, I personally like that one better. But uh, this one is a pretty good movie, and if, uh, if you like the crime stuff and things like that, then I'd recommend it. Uh, you know, I think the Italians always did the crime stuff the best and the horror movies the best. And the music scores are always great in this. Yeah, but I really uh, recommend this one. Don't look for some uh, over-the-top gore, violence, or nudity. That's not what this movie's about. This movie is about a solid crime story that unfolds uh, very well with a very uh, gut-wrenching, saddened story between father and son. But that is uh, Shoot First, Die Later. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good one. Anybody else you said this to? I'm joking. The case is yours. You know I wouldn't tell anybody else about it. I've been waiting for years. Sure. Now listen, Pop. You go back to your office. You, you get that report, and you bring it back here, and you give it to me. You can rely on me, but don't go getting too busy. Then, ahead. you take yourself a vacation to some place or other, Pop, huh? You might try the seashore. I don't care where you go, but go. Stay there and relax a few days. And when you come back, I want you to resign. But, son... You heard me, Pop. You bring that complaint to me, and then you disappear. Do you follow me? I must try and get rid of that complaint. Now Esposito is dead. You are the only one who knows anything. But 
tell me, am I to understand that you... You're asking me to obstruct justice. You did ask me. You asked me to get rid of a piece of evidence to murder. I'm trying to save your life, damn it all! Save my life? These people play for keeps. You can see that for yourself. You're an accomplice to murder. You, my son, why did you prove me wrong? Oh, my God, tell me I made a mistake. Ah, oh, stop weeping in your pillow. Okay, my son, the lieutenant, has dishonored the family with corruption. I have 60 million aside, an expensive girl. And when I say rise, everyone jumps and goes, how high? They pay you. What have you? You sold out, you? You, my very own you son. Preach to me. I've seen the type of life you've had. My God, I've seen you lick the shine off other people's shoes till the toes showed. You're my own flesh and blood, Pop. How many times have you had to beat a poor guy to death to make your superiors happy? Tell me, how many men have you convicted by inventing some phony, rotten story? It didn't make any difference if they weren't guilty. And how much corruption have you been involved in just to get yourself a lousy, stinking present at Christmas time? But that kind of corruption isn't bad, is it? Turn me in, then. Is that what you want? Fine, go ahead and tell all you know. You'll get yourself a big medal from your superior. If they don't kill you first, Yeah, it's written out that article. I finished it long ago.